A child in Wisconsin has died from the flu. The state health department has confirmed the first pediatric flu death in the state this season. DHS did not release any information about the age of the child who died or any indication of when the death happened. Flu symptoms are worse this year with the current strain going around and according to health experts, a medication shortening those symptoms is in low supply, making people sicker longer. NBC 15's Marcus Arsville joins us live in the studio to share how hospitals and pharmacies are rationing the drug Tamiflu during the time they need it most. SSM Health is only prescribing Tamiflu to younger and older populations, most at risk for developing dire influenza symptoms. As for what's causing the shortage, experts only know a little. Medicine typically flies off the shelves during flu in cold season at Hometown Pharmacy in Wanakee, but this go around one shelf more than others. One day um, we'll have the adult dose of the Tamiflu in, um, the next day it's out of stock in the warehouse. When customers call in with prescriptions for Tamiflu, they might be disappointed with the results. Right now there's one box in stock, when usually they'd have five times that. Pharmacist Heather Walker is now tasked with finding the flu symptom shortening drug elsewhere. It's been a big challenge to find time to call around and try to find it somewhere else for patients. The shortage is caused by supply chain issues, according to leaders at SSM Health. Unfortunately, everybody who we would in normal circumstances offer Tamiflu uh, to, we just aren't able to give them the, the drug right now. As a result, only older, younger, and those with chronic health problems can get a prescription. And health officials predict the limit will stay in place for a while. The shortage is going to be long term. This will not be over in a week or two. Instead of turning to medicine when it might be too late, Walker says to think proactively. People think that it might be a little bit too late in the year, but definitely not. Um, if you haven't gotten your flu shot yet, get your flu shot. It can help to reduce your risk of getting sick, can help to reduce your risk of getting, um, having terrible symptoms. While the shortage continues, if you're experiencing influenza symptoms, Walker recommends people stay home if possible, avoid close contact with others, and wear a mask in public. Live in the studio, Marcus Arzold, NBC 15 News.